Hi everyone. Today I want to teach you some tricks on how to do advanced filter.、Um, this is not the kind of advanced filter that you might think of, which is actually if you go to Data Filter Advanced,、um, it allows you to filter with multiple criteria.、Um, I think it's very easy for you to find. Um, some videos on how to do that, so I'm not going to repeat here.、Uh, it is also not、um, the kind of um, very commonly seen conditional formatting that I'm showing you here.、Um, in which case, you can conditional format by certain values. Um, and、um, by certain rules. So what I'm showing you here is that is based on my past experience working with Excel. Three、uh, kind of special cases where、um, it's also it's pretty commonly seen, but、um, we can't really use、uh, the above mentioned methods to solve them. So I'm gonna show you. Either the workaround or the solution to、um, those three scenarios.、Um, so let's start.、Um, let's start with the data set. So let's say this is our data set,、um, but apparently we only wanna filter. By this column, so this is the merit increase spend. Like basically, we let's say this is the.、Um, A、salary increase decision made by the managers, and we have all kinds of formatting here. So we have、um, font、uh, that's in red. We have fill in yellow. We also have comments. We have some cells that has comments. We also have some cell、uh, with borders. So it is actually. Pretty easy to filter by color. So if you want to filter the yellow ones, this is how you filter the yellow ones. If you want to filter、uh, the red font, this is how you filter for the red font. But what if you want to filter for the ones with comments? Okay, so.、Um, The function that you need to use is called go to.、Um, so it is actually under uh, uh, home. So under home, you go to the end of the adding. You see the find, go to or go to special. You click on go to special. Select comments. Okay. Do you see here? All the、uh, cells with comments are selected. This is a very interesting function, and actually,、um, you can also go there by F five. So F five gives you this window, and then you go to special. It gives you the same thing. You go to comment, okay, and only the ones with comments are selected. So the workaround that I'm going to show you here is actually when you have all those cells with comments selected, just choose another cell color that、uh, that's not used,、um, and then you can do the regular filter. And then you have all the comments selected, and then maybe you can make some change, and then、uh, change the color back to、uh, blank or anything. So,、uh, but this is like probably the quickest way to get to all the cells with comments. Um, and、um, this is also a non-macro way, which I find、uh, pretty handy to use. Okay. So let's go to the next scenario, which is filter by border. So let's say again, like this is our、um, data set, and、uh, we want to filter all the cells that has a border. So unfortunately, I was not able to find a way to do this without a macro.、Um, so my logic here is actually I need to create a new column called, like, say, nose home cell border, and basically. I create a macro to look into all the different cells, and then、um, I say if I find it has border, then、um, I I make some notes on、um, column edge. If it doesn't have, then I move to the next column. Uh, uh, sorry, move to the next row. 
So let's see the code that I have prepared for this. So it is a pretty straightforward code. Um, so it is saying that from row eight to 18, remember, see, that's our data set row height. Um, so for row eight to 18, if G8 border um, on the right um, is none, which means that no border, then uh, is uh, sorry, is not none, which means that it has a border, then we say it's with border. If not, we move to the next and then we loop from 8 to 18 until the end. So this is a macro that we created. And uh, this is the uh, this is a macro that we assigned to and then let's click on it to see what happens see so this is where i have a workaround to note the cells with borders oops what did i do um, and then basically you just select the ones with border and then you can uh, make selection to this data set as you wish so this is a second scenario filtered by order, uh, by border. So the third scenario is something like this, like um, you have, let's say you have a uh, performance rating from one to six and then you have different groups and uh, the cell is merged. And then now you want to filter out to see um, what is the merit span for all the people with the two rating. So note that if you just select the merge cell, it does only give you one uh, one row. It does not give you all the rows um, that to the the performance rate to Intel. The only way you can get to all the rows with a performance two is when you have data set like this, and then when you choose two. See, now you have all the rows that you want to see. So how do we get from the merge cell to the unmerged cell? Well, of course, you can copy one by one, one by one, but of course, that is not my purpose to do things here. So what I would do um, is usually I have a, a column. Um, well, let me do it from scratch. So I have the column here. It's all merged. Then the first step I'm going to do is to unmerge it. And then see, like right now I have all the ones with only one cell, but then see the blank ones. I do like see the this one, I want it to be equal to one. This one, I want it to be equal to two. This one, I want it equal to three. Those two, I want it to be equal to four, but I do not want to do it one by one. So now what do I do? So now what you do is to select all those cells and then remember the function of go to special. Let's do it again. So now you come to this window, go to special. Instead of selecting comments, let's select blank and let's see what happens. See, all those ones that we need to take action comes um, to be selected. So now I want to apply a function to all those cells that all the selected cells, I want it to be equal to the cell above. So you see the one um, here will equal to D8, but then this one I want to equal to D10. Uh, this one I want it to equal to D12. So while you have this um, formula still highlighted, um, click Control Enter at the same time, and here we go. So by clicking Control and Enter at the same time, you're essentially applying the same formula to all the cells that you selected. And here you go. This is how you get to this one. So see, like it's not too much work when you only have like 10 rows, but it is really handy too when you have hundreds of thousands of rows and you just don't need to do them one by one and which is very easy to make mistake. So remember this trick, control enter, um, is how you can fill in the formulas of uh, pretty quickly across different um, rows.
Okay, so as a recap, um, in this formula, uh, in this video, I showed you three um, solutions to advanced filter by some unique features of commons, border, and merge cells. I hope you find this helpful. If you find it helpful, please help to like it and subscribe to my channel. And uh, if you have any questions, please feel free to let me know. Thank you.